fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely lovely welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by if you like what you're seeing on this channel please do not forget to subscribe and join my family and if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for joining us again so in this video today i'm going to show you how to make very delicious oppa oppa dioko oppa na so so oppa oh god this is one of the best i mean meal or recipe that i so love so much so i'm going to be sharing how i make my oil with you guys and if you're interested let's get cooking so now the first thing i have to do now is i just have to add water to the pot and i just transferred it on my stove so meanwhile i'm going to be placing a stand inside the pot a stand that has already been wrapped with a foil around it this is because i'm going to be using plastic container to cook my opa to avoid melting my containers that's why i'm doing this part so but if you don't have any stand and you're going to use a plastic you can lay the foil on the pot before you start adding your water all right guys so the next step now is for me to mix my opa i have three cups of opa powder here and i'm going to be adding oil to the powder after adding my oil the next thing I'm going to do is to mix it and also add one and a half cup of water to mix my upper and oil very well just to make sure that it's well incorporated and also to avoid any lumps in my upper mixture. So guys, this process will take about five to seven minutes for me to achieve the consistency that I want. guys please note that for this process you will need lukewarm water not cold or hot water so i've continued mixing my upper and oil together now it's almost ready guys so i will now start adding water lukewarm water to it gradually just to get the consistency that it should be before i start cooking my upper as i'm mixing as i'm adding the water i'm also using my hands to keep stirring making sure that i pick up the lumps guys this part do not use spatula i know why i'm saying this because spatula will not be able to pick any tiny lump from the mixture you just use your hands cooking is messy after that wash up your hands it doesn't even i mean when you finish you can clean up okay so it has to be this way <laughs> all right so um now i think um the water is enough for me now i'm still you know using my hands to make sure that uh, i squeeze and i i i mix up the the whole um mixture properly your upper shouldn't be thick or uh like it may be the that consistency of my mind no if you make it that way hmm, your upper will turn to stone up is a very is a very hard meal the water has to be like um as if you're going to make a pop something like that that's how it's going to be like if you want to make a pop you know that consistency of trying to boil water and then mix your pop and then boil water that's how it's going to be like and that is how it looks like then Make sure, just like when you're making pap, that those uh, lumps and everything are well mixed up. So that's what I'm doing now. So if you have an idea of what I'm saying, so you'll be able to understand. And when you're doing it, you just do it flawlessly, okay? All right, guys, I've done mixing. And now I have the consistency that I want. I just added my pepper. I just added dry pepper. I'm going to be using scotch bonnet. But unfortunately, my scotch bonnet is not as hot as I would have preferred it. So hence the reason why I'm adding dry pepper to it. So I just added my salt as well. These are the only two ingredients that I'm going to be adding to cook this up. You can add crayfish if you want. But I would advise if you want to add crayfish, don't uh dry don't add ground crayfish you can add the full one or pro whatever but for me up uh, for me is the simpler the better this is how it's gonna be like you see the consistency of the upper 
so now the next stage will be to dispense my oppa into the container that i'm going to be using to cook the oppa the best the best method of cooking your oppa to get the perfect you know that perfect oppa wow wow flavor is using banana leaf and unfortunately i haven't got banana leaf so i'm going to be using a plastic plate with a lid to cook it so guys my water is already boiling if you're making up note that you have to place your up in a boiling water all right don't dispense your up and leave it to add to put everything together as you're dispensing it you're placing it inside the pot just like i'm doing you keep doing that until you finish so once you finish you allow your oppa now to cook for 45 to one hour depending on the size of the container which you're using to cook the oppa the container i'm using is quite a bit large so it's going to at least cook for the next one hour and then my oppa will be ready here we have our delicious oppa finally ready guys after cooking it for one hour 10 minutes anyway guys if you watched this video to this point and you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and also like share my video if possible leave a comment in the comment section below okay and let me know what you think about this oppa all right see you guys next time on my next video thank you for watching bye